Welcome back to Play Street here in Garfield Park. Come on out and join us. We got some great activations and we're virtual. Make sure you go out on the website. Be sure to like us, be sure to share. And if you send us a special video, you may get a special prize. Can't wait to see you there. Hi, my name is Kara and I'm with Garfield Park Community Council here at Play Streets. So today for Play Streets activity, we are decorating our own superhero capes. For my own that I'm going to show you guys the process of, I've gotten started on making flowers. I love being in the garden, eating delicious fruits and, fruits and vegetables, and also looking at the beautiful flowers. So to get started, take some of your fabric paints and some of your markers and your paint brushes that are in the kits as well as the paint mixers and there should be a cape and if there's not a cape then grab your own little pillowcase and get started on getting creative with colors and ideas of what you want your superhero cape to be. So grab a pillowcase like this and one that has a folded edge. So if you kind of like move that a little bit, you feel that it's a folded edge right here. So what you're going to do is take your scissors and cut along the seam. So what we're going to end up making is actually two capes from one pillowcase which means that you or a friend or a sibling or a parent or grandparent or anyone can have the other cape and there's two superheroes. Don't forget that when you make these capes, try to keep your imagination running wild. Who are you going to be? What are their superpowers going to be? What colors and decorations do you want? It's all up to you. All right, so now that the pillowcase is cut, we're almost there. All right, so now we have basically two capes right here. I'm gonna put one off to the side and you can do what I'm about to do to the other one if you want to. So this is the folded edge right over here. I'm not going to touch that yet and what I'm going to do is you can either cut one strip from the bottom or one strip from the side it just depends on how long you want the cape's little tie to be I'm going to take off the bottom one strip and I'm choosing the bottom because I am not going to be tying this around my neck. I don't need it to be that long. Instead, I'm going to be taking a little bit off, or a little bit of my, my dress here and kind of scrunching it up and then tying it around that little piece of fabric so that it's not around my neck, no choking hazards, keeping it safe. So now I have my folded edge of the pillowcase, now it's a cape, and the cut off strip from the bottom, and now I'm threading it through. By this time, it's dry and it's ready to be tied on to the little fabric in your clothes. And this is my cape. Have a nice time. So one of the best parts about having these paints and the paint mixer is that you can take different colors. So I took red, which I already put here. I'm taking blue and I'm mixing them to create purple. 
Remember, if you are drawing or painting on a surface that you don't want to get dirty or stained, that you put something like newspaper or magazines under to protect your belongings.